guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today, we are gonna do a little unofficial home tour. I made myself a cup of coffee, it's over in the kitchen, and I thought, let's go ahead and take a look room by room at what my house looks like today. Before we go any farther, I wanted to take a quick second and thank the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. I have shared them before on my channel and you guys know Maggie loves the Farmer's Dog. She has been on it since she was seven months old and she just had her first birthday, but this is what they look like. They come in individualized, personalized packaging. You can see her little name there. I just love that. And um, these are pre-portioned packets. Uh, so you never have to guess about how much to give her. Um, so I like to keep these in the freezer. I keep a couple in the refrigerator at a time. That way I always have fresh food to give her on hand. And it's truly an investment in her health. I feel good about giving her this food because it's real food. There's real chicken, real vegetables. She gets a pack a day and she just goes crazy for it. She loves it. And her coat is shiny. She is healthy. The vet even said the other day, um, her weight is perfect. So it just feels good knowing I'm giving her real meat, whole foods, whole vegetables, and I never have to guess or second guess what she's eating. I just opened up the packaging. You can see here, I'm just kind of fluffing it with a fork. I like to do that for her. Um, but I can see big chunks of real veggies in here and I have to flip the camera on. She's sitting right here like, Mom, what are you doing with my food? All right, you can see. She's ready. You want to eat, girl? Maggie is part of our family and we love her. That's why we love making an investment in the farmer's dog. I love giving her whole nutritious meals and I love the convenience of not having to think about it. It just shows up right on my doorstep, right when we need it. So be sure to check out the link in my description below and thanks again to the farmer's dog for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and start in the kitchen. Um, I have things I haven't changed a whole lot in here and I haven't really decorated in here for summer, um, but I'm sort of loving it. <laughs> I have everything scaled way, way back as far as countertops. I don't even have anything on my peninsula right now, um, <clears throat> but it's clean and it's working. One thing I changed about a month ago now, I added these wall sconces to the top of the window up there and they're kind of like an antique brass. And I want to start incorporating a little bit more of that brass into the kitchen just to give more of a mixed metal look. Um, I'm sort of regretting not doing more of that, but um, let's see over here on the open shelves, it's, it's super minimal. I just have like my flowers. Um, I've got different assorted mugs and pitchers, a couple of cookbooks. And then down here, this was all kind of clustered in a tray and then I used the tray for that so I need to find another tray maybe I'll just get the exact same tray it looks so much nicer when it's on a tray I don't know why um, but I love this little lamp in the morning having it next to my coffee which I talked about this coffee pot in um, my Walmart haul a couple of weeks ago I am loving this coffee pot it's so pretty sitting on the counter it works great um, I've got a tree mug there. I think that's from Target. And then I always get questions about this two-tiered um, fruit basket. I have one ear of corn in here. It's kind of random. <laughs> but um, that is from Kirkland's a couple of years ago. Over here, I've just got my toaster and speaker. Um, KitchenAid always sits out. I always get questions. This color is called Milkshake. 
and it is so pretty. And then I love this little vignette with the tray I mentioned stealing. What's wrong, Waggy? Why are you crying? Can you go outside? Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Maggie had to go potty. <laughs> um, I love this little vignette. I have these cutting boards here covering the outlet. And then I just have my diffuser going. I think I'm diffusing tangerine today. I love citrusy scents. In the summertime especially. And then next to our kitchen sink, I've got my dish soap and my little scrubber brush. I am trying to revitalize this plant that I put in this sugar dish. And believe it or not, it looks a lot better than it did. So I just love that though. It's sitting on the windowsill though. And then um, I always get questions about my sink. It's from Vintage Tub and Tile for those wondering. And then over here, um, I make oatmeal almost every day. And if I don't make oatmeal, I have granola. And then here are my copper pots and pans. People always ask me what kind of pot holder um, I have, but in actual fact, it is just a teeny tiny tension rod. You can get these at Walmart. I got mine on Amazon um, and little hooks. I will link those down below. Um, but it was perfect for hanging those. And from a distance, you can hardly tell. So I love sort of that vintage coppery look. I think it's so pretty against all of the white in here. That's just a magnolia wreath. It's from Magnolia Home. It's kind of like their signature wreath. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Um, but this beam is challenging for me. <laughs> I stuck that up there. That's not permanent. I had a nail there. Um, I need to figure out what to display here still. I'm kind of stumped on that or maybe just not inspired, but um, let's move on to the dining room. I think this is probably my favorite room in the house. Um, if I had to pick one, I would pick this room. I think the most blood, sweat, and tears on Caleb and I's behalf went in this room because we had to pull out the ceiling and re-drywall and we shiplapped all the old plaster. It was just such a mess when we moved in and it's just become such an open but cozy area in the home. It's our only table in the house, so it's where all of our meals are shared. Um, so we just love it, but let's see. The chairs are new, if you missed that video. I, uh, I'm gonna turn off this lamp, hang on. As cozy as it is, it's giving me a funky glare. Oh, <laughs> whoops. And my lamp is from Kirkland's. And I love just having that kind of ambiance lighting in here, that's why I keep it there in the corner. Um, but anyway, the chairs are new. They were a Facebook Marketplace find. I got them for $35. Um, I just love them. I easy offed them for those wondering how I refinished them. I got super lucky because when I easy off them, uh, they matched my table nearly perfectly. Um, and I know some of you, oops, I've got like a little, a little fern guy. <laughs> over here. I don't know what that is from. Um, the hutch I recently decorated for summer. I did move some of the plants to a sunnier location. This one though is doing really well in this crock. I am so pleased. Um, I have no idea what it is. So if you know, let me know down in the comments, <laughs> but it probably needs some water now that I'm, now that I'm looking at it closer, but it seems pretty happy here. Um, and I love the addition of the blue plates and the woods. I think it is so pretty in here. And then over on this little corner, um, nothing has really changed over here. I have this little peg accordion um, shelf thing, not shelf, accordion peg rack, I think is what it's called. It's from Target. I have some pictures on there. I think that's so cute. A little tote for summer, a cute striped apron. And then a little boxwood wreath. I think I got that one on Amazon. Um, and then I still am loving this door on the wall. For those of you who are new here, um, this house originally had huge cabinets, 
like I'm talking up to my chest high cabinets with these doors and they were dark mahogany. I refinished one of the doors and now it's a little piece of history in our home, which is really cool. So anyway, that's sort of a bigger look at our dining room. Oh, these chairs. These are from Wayfair. Um, I get asked about them all the time. Uh, in the centerpiece, I do have some hydrangeas and eucalyptus, just a really full arrangement. I change this out all the time, sometimes with real flowers, sometimes with faux. Um, but I think, I think the hydrangea stems are from um, Hobby Lobby, and I think these really pretty sort of whimsical eucalyptus stems are from Joann's, so. And just a quick overview of this space one more time and the kitchen. Okay, and turning from this way, we've got our brick chimney there. Here is our living room. Um, nothing's changed. I just did a video and toured this entire space, so I won't go on and on in here. Um, if you want to check out that video, it will be linked up in the cards. Um, but I did recently get something new I wanted to share with you guys since that video. I got new chair covers um, for my Ikea Ektorp chairs. They're from BEMS. BEMS? Yeah, that's how you say it. Um, but this is the linen cover. It is such nice quality. I mean, it is super duper soft. Um, I can't remember what the color is called. I think the color is called Shock. Um, it's just kind of a, I would say it leans more beige than white in person. Um, just really pretty. Got a linen pillow cover on the chairs. This cover is from Ikea. Also a recent Ikea, hi guys, you can see me in the reflection. Recent Ikea sort of find, I talked about it in that video. Um, just a pretty cabinet, real life. I need to touch up paint there. I don't know what scuffed the wall, but it's real life for you. This couch is not staged at all. This is real life. In the day-to-day, -day, I get asked all the time about having white couches. I use OxyClean or Bleach, and that us usually works when I wash my slip covers. But in the day-to-day, -day, I just keep a blanket over the main cushion. Um, that way, if the kids are sitting and playing or the dog jumps up or whatever, um, it doesn't look <laughs> that great. But in the day-to-day, -day, in real life, it, it works just fine. Um, and... I don't mind it and the kids don't mind it so I do have a coffee table here from Wayfair and I've got a vintage crop which is some just some green sitting on there very simple um, this is one of my favorite pieces in the house now uh, this is a free dresser hello again guys I have lots of mirrors <laughs> free dresser on marketplace refinish this replace the hardware and it is so pretty it works perfect as an entry table. I've been keeping like games and blankets and just extra stuff. Like this top drawer is kind of a junk drawer, not gonna lie with batteries <laughs> and different things, but it's just nice to have the storage. We don't have any linen closets or storage closets in this house since it's old, but um, works great. And on top, haven't changed anything. Still have my decoy. <laughs> And I'm still loving this cloche. I think it's super fun paired with that little rosemary plant. Um, the rosemary plants from Ikea. And then the lamp. Where's the lamp from? Home Goods. And then I've got this vintage mirror with this really pretty wreath. I got this at a boutique in North Carolina. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a link for that one. But um, all in all, I just I haven't changed anything in this space because I just really like it and I'm content with it these days. So, and let's talk about the elephant in the room, guys. Oh, I need your advice. I, Maggie, sweet Maggie, love her to death, but she got into a pen and it just, it was so much worse than this. And this is what's remaining. I cleaned up as best as I could, um, but entire 
thing of ink just got all over this rug and this rug is fairly new <laughs> so I'm like oh no um, but if you guys have any ideas on how to get ink stains out let me know I promise the rug is clean and vacuumed it's just stained right there and I don't know what to do I just haven't done anything <laughs> yet but um oh well if you have any suggestions let me know otherwise it looks like I have to go rug shopping <laughs> um and then over here on the piano, I haven't changed anything. I still have, this is a minnow bucket. I got it for $5 at an antique shop. I was super excited. Um, and I just filled it up with some snowball stems. They're from Hobby Lobby. They're super pretty, super realistic. Um, and then next to that, of course, I have a cozy, warm, yummy candle going. It's perfect for this day. But um, this house gets west facing light um, so I, it's really bright and beautiful here in the evening time and it's sort of dark in the morning and early afternoon so definitely gives off cozy vibes <laughs> for sure here's my other chair and again not staged this is my son's blanket I don't know what it's doing down here but <laughs> um, over here this is a hall tree from the um, Habitat for Humanity store and on that this is just a terrain from an antique shop and I stuck this little Target rosemary plant inside it and I think it looks really pretty I like that look a lot hi guys <laughs> uh, I love one of my favorite things about this mirror is the view of the staircase going up I just love that and then Let's take a look at my office, shall we? Why not? <laughs> it's pretty clean in here compared to what it normally looks like, I can tell you that. Um, but I sort of end up throwing extra decor in here all the time. It's kind of my dumping grounds. I've got my kids' little homeschool cart here, but um, this is what it looks like. My mantle is not, I kind of just keep throwing things on there. Um, so that's why I have like two vases of flowers. It is not, um, not Pinterest worthy by any means right now. Got my fireplace still, computer, uh, my desk and my secretary desk or Facebook marketplace find one of my favorites. And I still love the ceiling <laughs> a year later, two years later. Um, this space is so fun to have to be able to work and edit and do all that good stuff. And coming back out here, we can take a peek at our family room. So everything in here is pretty much the same, except I wanna hang this large mirror on the wall there. Still loving our sofa, still loving the curtains. I haven't really changed the pillows or anything. Um, I don't know where the other one of those pillows is. <laughs> it's probably hiding somewhere. Um, and our cabinet is holding up really well. It's got our TV in it. Love having the TV hidden, by the way. It just, I, just, I don't know why, I just do. I just like it. And the basket on top of the more of those snowballs is super pretty too. So, um, this, all in all, this space is just really cozy. It's perfect for cuddling it up and watching movies. Um, out this window here, my hydrangeas. These are my limelight hydrangeas. And they're getting big, guys. It won't be long, and you'll see them right out this window, which is so pretty. Now we're upstairs. I just wanted to show you a couple rooms up here. This is my son's room, um, Grayson and Graham. And we love this space. We ended up doing a trundle bed for them. So there's another bed that pulls out at night for Graham, which is perfect since he's only three. Um, and we've just added just a lot of things for storage. We've got this basket and hooks for super man capes and masks and toys are usually full in here, but I guess they're all down right now. Um, I love this little map. It's from Hobby Lobby. We shipped out the wall. We painted the walls nebulous white. So it was nice and bright and airy in here. 
Um, we've got more baskets for Legos and blocks. And then I've got a couple different chests for trucks because my boys, <laughs> they love trucks. And I do have some books over here too, but the room is really simple, really sweet. Um, this is the only space we keep clothes and I'm pretty impressed with myself. I keep pants up there because it's summer right now, all of their shirts. And then, oops, like I thought I didn't pre, I didn't look at this beforehand, but <laughs> I got two bins for both boys and we managed to fit all of their clothes in here, which is really nice. So, um, yeah, their room is just really simple and sweet and uh, it's been a fun little space for them for sure. I know they love it. So uh, I wanted to share that one with you guys. I'm moving into our bedroom. I know I just did a video on this space. So um, <laughs> it's not like there's much to see in here if you guys saw that video, but uh, I do have a cozy candle going. I had to take my flowers out of here. It had been about a week and a half and they were looking real sad. <laughs> so I need to go cut some fresh flowers to put in there. Um, and then I did make my bed today for you, just for you guys. <laughs> no, I make my bed every day. Um, but this is a linen duvet and sheet set from Brooklinen. It is so light and airy, perfect for summertime. And then we've got the dresser over there. So this room has definitely been simplified for summer and I love it. I really do. I, tr I truly love it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was fun and relaxed for you. And if you happen to be new here and today's the first time that you're stopping by my channel, I just want to say welcome and I am so glad that you're here. Here on my channel, I do lots of home decor, lots of homemaking inspiration, and I would love for you to subscribe. My home was built in the late 1800s, and it has really inspired me to decorate with more vintage pieces. So if you enjoy that kind of content, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. And don't forget to check out the farmer's dog down in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.